Today is a rather exciting day after a lot of hard work over the last couple of months getting enough money together and getting uh, enough time and material together to start building the mold. Uh, first we built the plug. The plug is a quick replica of what the, the boat's going to look like, in this case a sponson. So the plug is built upside down on the ground and then they fiberglass over it. And now today's project is to, we're going to pull it out so we can separate the mold from the plug. The first thing we have to do is to lift it up high enough that we can slide some, an axle with some wheels on it so we can roll it out. Rocco is our inspector. He's the inspector puppy. We're putting a little dolly on the front so that we can steer and actually pull with it. Ralph Brown is the CEO of Dreamboats and PRA, which stands for Powerboat Race Around the World. Now that we got it out in front of the shop, uh, we're going to uh, set it up so that we can start uh, turning it over. First, we got to get a couple of uh, team pictures together. We're Team USA. Going to run and get to the freestanding camera so we don't have a lot of extra footage taken on the camera. We used a forklift to lift it up so that we could take the tires off. The forklift is a really big help. These uh, tires are quite a bit heavy. We're tipping the mold straight up and down so we can pull the plug out. Now you're trying to figure out the safest way without damaging it. That's the idea. To get to a point where it's going to pivot, okay, and then we're going to use the friction, uh, friction of the rope against the forklift to keep it from falling all the way over. Then we can loosen it up and let it go by hand all the way back. Marino is the head engineer, and Bob Brown is taking the position as the photographer. I think this view is kind of cool. It reminds me of the Titanic, not the sinking part. Rocco's keeping a close eye on us.
Ralph making sure the flag is put straight. We're attaching the lifts uh, to some of the inside wood so that we can uh, put some pressure on pulling the um, plug up so that we can break it loose from the mold. It started off looking like it was going to be a really easy job, uh, but we ran into a hang up and uh, the front part just would not want to let loose. We banged on it, beat on it, shook it to death, everything. We jammed uh, wedges down inside at certain places to make sure we could you know, the sides weren't touching and any places that were touching helped pop them loose. And then uh, we finally uh, got it loose. Ralph actually took something off the bottom and it uh, made it so that it popped loose. Took over an hour to get it to pop loose. Actually, now that we got the plug lifted up out of the mold, we could use these lifts with the on wheels and just slowly roll it out the back. Actually looked kind of cool. Rocker taking a little break, getting a little back scratch there going. We'd attach a dolly mount on the front of the thing. It was a tight squeeze, but Ralph got in there and got it done. We know outside working the wrenches. Now that we got it out, we got to get the mold put away. We're going to put that back inside the shop so they can start working on it, getting it ready to start making the actual boat. You got a lot of sanding and polishing to do to get it really slick so you get a nice finish on the outside of the finished product. <sighs> Thought that the, the plug looked kind of cool. Basically, it's a replica of the finished Sponson. We're all done with the plug, but we decided instead of just cutting it all up and, and sending it to the trash, putting it in the dumpster, that we're going to leave it off on the site so we can take some more pictures and use it uh, for the media. It's balanced fairly well. We pretty much wheel it in and out without too much trouble. The main problem we had, it was so long we couldn't make any of the turns. We always run into stuff like the rock pile or the edge of the building or something. It was just a tight squeeze.
forklift came in handy to get it uh, shored up uh, so that you know it wouldn't tip over or you know anything like that. Don't forget to check out my books on robertbrownbooks.com.